Alrighty, hey everyone. So we're going to be watching the 20th anniversary announcement trailer that just came out for Kingdom Hearts. I don't know anything. I saw a little bit online about how it's po supposedly, apparently, Verum Rex or something. I don't really know anything, and I was busy last night. So you know what? Let's give this a watch, and I don't really know what to expect. Okay, so what is this? Oh my goodness, that looks so gorgeous. This, that looks amazing. Haven't we seen artwork by Namora with Sora wearing that same outfit before? Who the heck is that? Holy crap, Sora looks so good. That's a big heartless. I think it's a heartless. Okay, this is looking really, really good. Actual civilians in danger? Like, what? Oh, there, there goes Sora, there goes Sora. Oh my goodness, that looks so good! Oh my goodness! Oh wait, th okay, I really hope this is actual gameplay footage and not just like, made just for the trailer. So yeah, I think I've really seen what people mean by this is basically Verum Re or Versus 13. Okay, what was that? I thought that was a Keyblade transformation, but it wasn't. Okay, that, that must be the master of masters? Um... What? Huh? I don't understand the ending. So, yeah, I don't know obviously what's going on here. This looks phenomenal from the way that if this is actual gameplay footage and not just made for the trailer, this looks really good. And it kind of looks more, it looks more like Kingdom Hearts 3, but with less of the Kingdom Hearts 3 like gimmicks, if that makes sense. Yeah, so this is another thing. I don't know. So they said that Sora woke up from a s long slumber. Who knows exactly what that means? But I take it this means... Yeah, because you've been asleep since you arrived in this world seven days ago. Here's my question. So does that mean he actually arrived in Quadratum seven days ago? Or was it just that he simply was uncrystallized seven days ago? But this definitely leads me to think that the fight with Yazora at the end where Sora turns into crystal is the canon scenario. I like this little moment here how they show the civilian trying to take a picture of the big scary monster like let's be real in real life you know someone's gonna be like give me a second to take a picture. 
and that Keyblade looks great. Yeah, see, you look at this. This definitely has a Kingdom Hearts 3 movement feel to it. And what is that? A grappling hook of some kind that he's creating? See, this, moments like this, this really makes me think Verum, or not Verum Rex, but 13 versus. What is this? What is that move? See, this, that makes me think it's turning into like the drill from Kingdom Hearts 3. But it's very, you can tell that it's not the drill. Because look, it changes and it's very hard to notice. But in this scene, his keyblade, the kingdom key always stays in the kingdom key form. Even there, it's very, very hard to notice. But it never actually changes form. This looks amazing. I am ready. I want more. Namora, give us another trailer. Please, please, please. Alright, so I just wanted to go back a little, take another look at like Sora. Like this outfit is definitely not the outfit he wears when he fights Zora and gets turned into crystal. So what's with the new outfit? Where did he get it? This is why I don't think he just woke up from his crystal because if he had just woke up wouldn't he still be wearing his cage 3 outfit which oh my god dude that just it looks amazing i love it looks so clean his outfit actually does look kind of like a crossover of his kingdom hearts 3 outfit and kind of more of original noctis's design so yeah i think everything in this trailer very 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 short but i think it looks phenomenal and once again i just i really hope that this is actual gameplay and not simply made for the trailer so for those that may not know the first couple of verum rex or not verum rex is the first couple of uh versus 13 trailers were actually made purely for the trailers like there wasn't really any actual game development done at the time so they got just enough done to make the trailers if that is the case with this i'm a little disappointed but they are definitely setting some very very high standards with this like once again just looking at this footage here again and i don't know what's with that grappling hook like it kind of it makes me think of Terra or Lingering Will's abilities. So I guess is it technically it really could be a Keyblade transformation, but it's very different. It definitely gives me a vibe like the Kingdom Hearts team, the Osaka team is taking feedback from three and simply trying to not make the same mistake that they made with Kingdom Hearts 3, which is a great step. Great great idea. And I definitely wanted to have more of the OG Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 combat feel to it and less of the Kingdom Hearts 3. I like the Kingdom Hearts 3 mobility that you have, but the overall, like, the way your power-ups and stuff work definitely needed to be improved upon. And it looks like they might be doing that here, hopefully. Either way... I've probably rambled on and repeated myself quite a few times in this. I hope not. I'm going to try and cut out anything like that. But yeah, if you all enjoyed, leave a comment, leave a like. Let me know what you think of this trailer. Let me know what you hope to see in the future. Because I'm telling you, I got a lot of things I want to see. And I'm just hoping for the best. So yeah, once again, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to this channel. And I will have more for you all later.